Oh my goodness gracious, Addie, you are so much cuter than I remember. Look at your little mustache and your adorable cyan eyes. Oh my gosh, I love you. Ah, oh, it's so good to be back, guys. Just look at all of these cats. Look at this tail that Lexi has. I am so in love with this. This is absolutely fantastic. And the very gorgeous Jennifer, who really, she looks like the most elegant cat who you would expect to see in only the finest of establishments. Perhaps with a very, a very uh, rich female owner who lives in the Simlish countryside and dines on the cow plant essence of unwary suitors. That's what Jennifer reminds me of. Gosh, Jennifer, you suddenly got a really dramatic backstory. But hello, everyone, and welcome back to the random laboratory. And we are back with our lab assistant, Teal Nova, who is now having her life flash before her eyes as she turns and into gosh. an adult and is getting ready to help us out, possibly with those awesome kleptomaniac skills, stealing the show, so we might say, with hopefully making some fun new cats once again I, I thought about it really hard i rolled a dice it rolled on cats instead of dogs uh i actually have added that much randomness into our random pet genetics challenge but we are going to carry on with the cats today to see if we can keep these three tails going look at that little butt wiggle that was right there that was so cute flint good job but we're going to see if we can keep the three tail cats going and we're going to see if we can maybe um, at their colors maybe some other features about them like the ears kind of changed up a little bit but don't worry we will return to the curse of the midnight dogs which really isn't so much a curse as it's just like mm, the dogs are very dark of coat at the moment uh very shortly but i wanted to check out the cats also because we're on the 39th experiment for cats and like almost 70 for dogs so we still need to catch up on the cats so all right let's go ahead and have our lovely blind willow head out into the feline play yard and lovely addy I don't think I got a chance to breed them last time. Saga is going to be heading out, unfortunately not passing on any of the fangs that we had. Jennifer will head out as well. And I kind of want to see just really quickly, Addie, if you had kittens, Oh, it looks like a little Sherlock Holmesy kitten, or like, or I guess it would be like a Watson kitten because it's got a little monocle. Except it's not really has a monocle; it's just like missing its eye. Poor thing. Uh, but what else? Oh, little flat ear cat with a little bunny tail. Oh my gosh, Addy, you you would have really adorable cats, and they would all look a hundred percent like you. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that coat is apparently very dominant. Oh my goodness. And what about if they had kittens with Lexi? If Addie, oh my gosh, if Addie and Lexi had kittens together, it looks like they could have a huge variety of lovely cats. So unfortunately, they didn't they didn't stick around for our challenge, so they're going to be headed out. But again, guys, if you are wondering how you can enjoy all of those beautiful cats, they never go away forever because they are right here. There, and I just shared them properly on the gallery and you can download them as experiment 48 under blissy underscore leaves which is my gallery name uh i think i have a few that i forgot to share but pretty much all of the exper experiments are shared and you can download them there so flint let's go ahead and get you a brand new lovely mixed breed cat to be your mate and we are going to be making the sixth mixed breed cat that we stumble on for uh the oh hello oh really well it's nice to meet you too i guess hi that was graceful turkish angora i'm going to remember that's what you do but i love that face oh my gosh all right so not a mixed breed so we're going to randomize six times in order to get a mixed breed but i had never seen the turkish angora cat actually and it's really beautiful i am highly impressed with it so let's see one Oh, you're so cute! Look at your little toesies and your little tail. Oh, you're adorable. I really like this one. Oh, little cinder. Dang it, I named it. I wasn't supposed to name it. I really wasn't supposed to name it. Okay, curses. This is cinder. <laughs> that was an accident. Don't name the cat, Siri. You're supposed to just look at their genes. Don't name them. This is cat number two. <laughs> Three. Oh, you're really cool too. Keep going, keep going. I can do this four. Oh my gosh. Ah, five. They're all amazing. 
<laughs> They're all amazing. Look at that tail. Six. Oh, that was hard to leave them behind. But here we go. So this is actually going to be the Vonzi. The Vonzi. There we go. After one of you guys from the comment section in the last video, thank you so much for leaving your comments and your name suggestions. It is so much fun, and I do try to make extra cats and dogs when we do this so that we have an even more of a chance for your guys' names to be picked. But Vonzi, you are now feline experiment C-040. Huzzah! We're finally working our way up into the 40s. Thank goodness. All right, well, let's carry on with changing everything about this lovely base cat that we have and uh, making them look quite unique. And also, we'll just leave the skittish, the prowler, and the friendly traits since they randomly rolled in on their own. But let's change up the body four times. One, two, three, four. All right, and we're going to be changing the tail to long tail, bob tail, three tail, rabbit tail, or squirrel tail 12 times. One, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Oh my goodness, okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Three tails? That means we have a guarantee of a three tail kitten. <gasps> the three tails, three tail calico cats. Oh, that makes me so happy. Okay, I don't know if we'll keep the calico patterning. Oh, we need to change the head shape first. But we are, we are secured. We have secured the three tail cat lineage. It has a 100% chance of passing on to any kit that we have now. This is so exciting. Uh, okay, I'm gonna roll for head shape. Let's see, and we, uh, uh, that we are not rolling for head shape. So we will not change the head shape, so we may not have a schmoosh face cat, but we will be changing everything else down here. So the eyes, we're gonna change, uh, the ears, excuse me, we're gonna change nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna change the nose seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, very cute little nose. Whiskers are gonna be changing once, Okay. Oh, she's got little like eyebrow whiskers there. That's really cute. And the eyes are going to be changing four times. One, two, three, four. Oh, lovely. Look at this three-tailed calico cat with a very cute little nose that we have somehow ended up with already. Vivanzi, I am quite impressed at your appearance so far. All right, we're gonna be changing the coat pattern. A very exciting moment here. One time, just once. <gasps> Darter shell. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. All right. That's pretty. That is, that just, that looks like one of the most complex cats we've had yet. Just because of the coloring and the overlay on the patterning. I'm really impressed by that. Oh my gosh. And we're going to be changing the base coat color 12 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. All right, a gray base coat pattern. This is looking more and more kind of like a space cat. Nine times on the next color. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then once on the last color. <laughs> I love it. I love it. We really do have like a little space cat here, or I guess it would almost be like an ocean cat. This is a really cool cat. All right, fur is going to be changed 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. All right, so this is, it's kind of like Sea Whisper extreme, like epic level Sea Whisper from our Sims 3 Warrior Cat series. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm quite impressed here, but we're not done yet, you guys, because we still have a few very special genes. For instance, some very special ears, very special ears that we could end up with with these cats. So we're gonna be randomizing 10 times and then taking off all of the clothes that have popped on, but seeing if fangs, ears, missing eyes, big giant ears, uh, what else do we have? Uh, monkey paws happen to appear on this cat. So 10 times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. All right, so what did we end up with? We now have a cat who is unfortunately blind. So the three tail gene seems to come with a lot of blind eyes uh, and was a taco cat briefly, but no longer. 
uh, and has all of its limbs though. So we do have a blind three-tailed cat who will be having a kitten of her very own. So this is pretty exciting, Flint. You two are definitely going to be having a three-tailed cat and we are going to be randomizing eight kittens and seeing what those are going to look like. The eighth kitten will be experiment number 41. So exciting. All right, so let's grab Flint. Let's go ahead and grab Vivanzi. And uh, we're gonna randomize eight times and whatever child they have is going to have the three-tailed tail because it's a 100% chance of them passing it on. And let's see, what? So that was one, two, three, four. Oh, wow, that face! Did you see that face on number four? Cool. Then five, six, seven, eight. Oh, oh, hello, hello. And this is actually gonna be a female and she is going to be named Olivia. So hello, Olivia. I love her face, wow. But Olivia is actually going to be assigned the three tail, which doesn't pass on in the genetics, like when you randomize like that, but it definitely, uh, definitely counts because both parents have the three tail. So Olivia, the three tail cat, whose traits are going to be, let's see, friendly, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Clever. One, two, three, four, five, six. And lazy. So friendly, clever, and lazy were the traits that uh, this lovely cat, who's going to be named Olivia, there we go, has been given. There we are. And we have Olivia C041. Phew. All right. We did it. <laughs> We have a brand new cat and we have a little bit of extra time. So let's actually see what kind of babies Cinder would have with some of the other cats. I'm curious. <gasps> Hi, look at your eyes. Oh my gosh, Cinder has the most precious babies, you guys. Cinder will have the most precious kittens. They will melt your heart. I highly recommend her kittens. Oh my gosh. <gasps> look at you, one with the tiniest paws ever. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Cinder, you also have really amazing kittens. And it looks like you really, 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 really wanna have gray kittens. So Cinder would pass on some gray kitten genes for sure. And if Cinder had some babies with our cats, this is what Cinder and Flint would look like. I'm not really getting any where I'm like, I must keep that one. There's some, there's some that are awful close. Some that are really cute. Some that look completely like normal cats. And then like, oh, I love those beautiful purple eyes. I wish the person who made them, I, I knew where their downloads went, but I have lost their downloads link. Look at all that. They're very pretty. They are very pretty indeed. All right, let's come over here with Vivanzi. And what about Vivanzi and Cinder? What do we get there? Some very, ooh, hi. I like your purple eyes. That's definitely keeping our cats looking pretty interesting. But Vivanzi, if you just had a baby with any old cat, what would you look like? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Some of these results are so interesting. They're not nearly as dramatic as with the dogs, as usual. But and none of them are really jumping out at me like, I must keep that cat forever. But Vivanzi, I'm wondering, like, if I come over here to breeds, what happens if I grab Vivanzi and I try, and a raccoon? <laughs> Wait, wait, I'm so curious. You know what, I, I just wanna look. We won't even keep this, this, this cat, but I just wanna look. How does it look if you have a three-tailed raccoon? Oh my gosh, this is goals. This is what I hope the random generator will one day bequeath to us, my friends, is a three-tailed raccoon. That would make everything so amazing. But it is not a legal move yet because we have not managed to get that. But I'm sure that Olivia will be able to help out the cats. I mean, we literally have three-tailed cats right now. I cannot complain. I cannot complain about how it's turning out. However, I do think it's time to turn back over to the dogs because we literally have wings that some of these dogs could have. So I am a little bit more interested to see what the puppies will look like next time. So thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you all then when hopefully you will have the chance to become one of the many animals of our wonderful laboratory experiments. 
Until then, guys. Bye-bye.